Tonight we investigate reckless speeding on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Cracking down on speeders has been a concern for years. Even the General Assembly weighed in on the matter tonight. 10 on your side, Andy Fox is reporting on a bridge too fast, Andy. Tom and Anita, reckless driving stops are up 30% over last year, and we're only in November. When you look at the court hearing dates for the Bridge Tunnel police officers, you can't believe it. The speed limit is 55, and lead foot driving. Drivers are walking to court. The 17 mile Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel in 15 seconds. Unmatched beauty, the views at sunset. Once called an engineering wonder of the modern world, today considered a reckless driving speed zone. Bridge Tunnel Police Chief Edward Spencer. They get out here, especially at night um, when there's not a lot of traffic, and uh, they tend to, uh, tend to get in a hurry. And, uh, you know, 132 mile an hour is, is, is ridiculous. That would be Martin Coggins from New York City, Virginia Beach court documents show he was pulled going 132 in a 55 on the bridge tunnel. Then five minutes later, eight miles down the road, Coggins pulled again by another officer, clock going 85. Most of the time you go to court with that type of speed, you better have a toothbrush with them. Coggins now appealing an 80 day active jail sentence. We want to be visible. That, that's why we're here. We're out there to be visible and enforce the laws of the Commonwealth. We want to be seen. Be seen. Increase police visibility to deter speeders, which brings us to Master Police Officer Morris Smith. Well, it was just open space and with nobody around me, so I figured I can just drive fast as I want. Officer Smith says drivers see the straight and narrow road. They see the water. It's a bridge. They are lulled into speeding because they don't think anyone is watching them, especially at night. 78, that's the gray car in the left hand lane. 354, 347. Got a great Nissan Altima. Morris snags a driver, 78 in a 55. Morris calls ahead to another officer who pulls them over. They are cited with reckless driving, which is 20 miles over the speed limit, 55. Make no mistake, reckless speeders remain a major safety concern on the bridge tunnel. 10 on your side examined speeding tickets given by two bridge tunnel police officers. Officer Jay Batakis, who also pulled Martin Coggins in Northampton County in October and December, wrote 76 reckless speeding tickets. Look at them all. 11, 91 to 99 miles per hour, even one at 104. We've been riding with Officer Smith. He'll be in court Tuesday for 33 tickets. He wrote most are not reckless driving, but 10. Are. It seems to be a common day occurrence out here. Why do you think that is? Well, uh, maybe the uh, fines aren't stiff enough. I'm not sure. We looked for how many speeders clocked over 100 miles an hour. We found a bad reckless trend. 2014, 14 stops over 100. 2015, 18 stops. So far in 2016, 17 stops over 100 miles per hour. I think my most surprising moments are when you stop someone driving triple digits and then they're under the influence of alcohol. Ironically, as we went through these 109 speeding violations, there wasn't one case attached to a DUI. They aren't drunk, they're just recklessly speeding and coming up with excuses. He had death in the family. I was like, okay, but there's no need for you to drive that fast. Well, you don't understand. I was like, I, I do understand. I'm trying to save your life now or possibly somebody else's life. Reckless speeding isn't a new concern. In 2003, a General Assembly Review Commission told bridge tunnel operators they need to develop strategies to address reckless driving by doing these things, and they have. Reduce current tolerance to speeding by giving tickets early and often. Use radars and speed indicator signs. Most importantly, visible police patrols. So you feel that being out here just driving. Just driving around with them. Increases safety on the bridge tunnel. Right. Now, 20 or more miles over the speed limit is considered reckless driving. We found plenty of those in the court documents. That is a class one misdemeanor in Virginia, up to 12 months in jail, six months suspended license, and six points on your license. We are told in Virginia Beach, and it varies from court to court and judge to judge, jail time usually begins to be considered at 90 miles an hour. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.